I made the best ECW universe mode in WWE 2K24. If you were a troubled youth in the late 90s, there's a good chance you were watching ECW on your little CRT TV, enjoying all the blood, violence, and licensed music that it had to offer. Or if you're someone like me who was born in the mid 90s and not quite being old enough to enjoy ECW's golden age while it was happening where people like RVD, Sabu, Sandman, and Mike Awesome were doing and having some of the most insane and influential matches in wrestling history. You could still look back at some of these matches through the power of YouTube and the nostalgia is still there somehow captured in time. Many ideas from ECW would go on to inspire maybe the biggest era in pro wrestling, the Attitude Era, and introduce us to some of the world's best performers with its legacy living on to even this day. So for this universe mode, I'm gonna be using most of the original ECW roster or my favorite wrestlers from the ECW roster, I should say. So let's jump right in and see what we've got going on. The first match on our card here, super crazy, Tajiri, Masato Tanaka, triple threat, extreme rules match. I should also say that every match on this show has a stipulation tied to it in some way. Next up, barbed wire death match where the Sandman takes on Sabu. ECW World Tag Team Championships are on the line in eight tables. The Dudleys take on Raven and Tommy Dreamer for the FTW Championship in an FTW rules match. Bam Bam Bigelow takes on Taz one-on-one -on -one. for the ECW Television Championship. Jerry Lynn takes on RVD in a two out of three falls match. And in the main event, Rhino versus Mike Awesome, world championship, last man standing. Referee rings the bell and we are underway. Triple threat match to Jiri. To Jiri go behind. Wrestles down super crazy. Now focuses on Tanaka. German suplex. Super crazy moves in. DDT. Tanaka back to his feet. Super crazy gonna catch him. Face buster. Now to Jiri. Elbow strike. Catches him and knocks him down. Tanaka now wrestles down to Jiri. Showing off a little here is Masato Tanaka. And a hard lariat takes down. Super crazy into the pin. Super crazy will get out at one. Tajiri moves in with a drop kick and hits the referee. Now Tanaka with Tajiri. Arm wrench, leg lariat to the gut. Pull back Irish whip, heel kick. Tajiri Irish whip, super crazy. Off the ropes, catch and release, belly to belly. That wasn't even a catch and release, that was more of just a release. Tajiri now from the second rope with a body splash. Masato Tanaka has to bail on the garbage can he pulled out to break up the pin. Remember, there's no disqualifications in this match. Tajiri can poke him in the eyes if he wants. Now super crazy, brings a ladder into the ring. Backstabber. Tajiri lifts Tanaka up to his feet. Irish whip. Catches him again with that belly to belly. Gets out of Super Crazy's grass. Super Crazy. Kicks him in the knee. Drops him down. Shining Wizard. Super Crazy into the cover. I mean Tajiri. And that will not do it. Masato Tanaka kicks out. And there's Super Crazy. Reverse face buster. Tajiri now is Super Crazy. Vertical suplex. Tanaka puts Tajiri into the corner. Doesn't follow up. Looks like he's going to get another weapon from under the ring. And he grabs a sledgehammer. Super Crazy thinking the same thing. Goes and gets a weapon. And Tanaka just bludgeoning Super Crazy with this sledgehammer. Going to turn his attention to Tajiri. Also looking for a weapon. It takes him out with a sledgehammer too. Masato Tanaka in control of this match. Tanaka now takes over Tajiri and just drops him on the concrete. Right, this is ECW, folks. So we don't have the budget for no ringside mats. You're landing on straight... Dirty concrete out here. Tajiri now throwing Super Crazy. And it tosses Tanaka as well. Super Crazy looking for another weapon here. Gonna introduce some tables to the match. Off the turnbuckle goes Super Crazy. Dude, that's gotta be like the best wrestling name ever. Super Crazy. 
That's insane. Gets reversed. Irish whip into the ring. Tanaka gonna follow up. Super crazy right behind. Super crazy lifts up Tajiri. Backdrop on the side of the ladder. Now Tanaka rolling elbow. Knocks out Super Crazy, but Tajiri's not going to let him get the pin. Vertical suplex. Tanaka tries that rolling elbow one more time. Super Crazy catches it this time. Tanaka gets out with a chop block. Now Tanaka moving in on Tajiri. Lariat. Hard Lariat knocks Tajiri out of the ring. Has to pull himself up on the apron. Tajiri now from behind. Has Tanaka stunned Shining Wizard. The second Shining Wizard of this match. Super crazy stun in the corner. Tajiri might steal it. Tanaka saves himself from the Shining Wizard once again. And now super crazy kick stuns Tajiri. Overhand chop. And that will not do it. Tajiri breaks it up just in time. Now super crazy with the blue mist all over his face. Irish whips Tajiri. Not done though. Looking for more punishment. Irish whip blocked by the ladder. Tajiri turns around and gets caught by Super Crazy. Stalling Brain Buster. Super Crazy with one arm into the cover, but Tanaka breaks it up. Tanaka goes into the cover on Tajiri, and Super Crazy will break it up. Tanaka trying to steal the match. Spinning European uppercut. Tajiri moves in. Discus kick on Super Crazy, stomping the arm of Tanaka. Super Crazy again sizing up Masato Tanaka. Tajiri, buzzsaw kick, rolling elbow. He hits Super Crazy and Tanaka, Northern Light suplex. Roaring elbow, Tanaka knocks out Tajiri. Backbreaker on Super Crazy, into the cover. And that's it, Masato Tanaka wins the triple threat. Teams move in on each other. Bubba Ray takes over. Raven knocks down Devon. Devon back to his feet. Raven right there waiting for him. Raven. Ooh, I thought he was going for the even flow already. Bubba Ray takes over Tommy Dreamer. Wrenches the arm. Dreamer elbow to the face. We've reversed positions now. Devon in control and Dreamer in control. Dreamer gets caught, thrown in the turnbuckle. Hard clothesline knocks him down. The powerful Devon taking control of this match. Devon, Irish whip thrown over the... Rope onto the concrete. Now Bubba Ray got to put the tables into the ring. Dudley's make, looking to make short work here. Raven takes a minute to show off and gets bloodied for it. Bubba Ray having to pull himself up in the turnbuckle. Dreamer moves in with a clothesline, squashing him. And remember, the only way to win this match is to throw your opponent through a table. The Dudleys have the clear advantage here. Dreamer going to try to set up the table. Bubba Ray not going to let him get that far. Irish whip to the turnbuckle. Now Devon looking for more weapons. Decides not to use the cane. Dreamer's in trouble here. Bubba Ray gets reversed. Now Bubba Ray's in trouble. Dreamer goes over the rope. There's still a table out there he could fall through. You have to be careful here. Bubba Ray, what's he looking for? Driving the air out of the chest of Tommy Dreamer. And Dreamer falls on the table, but it doesn't break. He just slides off of it. That does not end the match. Somebody has to go through the table for this match to end. Devon going to try to put that table back in the ring. Bubba Ray off the ropes. Face wash on Raven. Now Bubba Ray going to go for that table that Dreamer slid off of. We got three tables in the ring now. Devon rolls in, gets caught by Raven. Bubba Ray too worried about putting up tables to get Raven. Raven picks him up. Stun gun off the ropes. Dreamer with another table. We have four tables in the ring now. Raven throws Bubba Ray to the concrete. Dreamer sets up the table, but Devon from behind. Devon, again, Dreamer bounces off the table and doesn't go through. And now Devon taking everybody out. Devon with Raven, lifts him up, vertical suplex position. Raven fighting, floats over, chop blocks Devon. A table duel, Tommy Dreamer just throws it at Bubba Ray. Tommy Dreamer now setting up the table, trying to get Bubba Ray who reverses. Raven sets up a table in the corner. Bubba Ray lifts up. Ooh, powerbomb on the closed table by Devon in a knee to the face. Now Devon lifts up Dreamer near that table. Drops him behind in a gorilla press. Raven Irish whip. Devon to the corner. 
Now Dreamer and Raven moving on Bubba Ray. Running Bulldog by Dreamer. Bubba Ray quick to his feet, but Dreamer there to meet him. Bubba Ray, knee to the gut. Back chop stuns Dreamer. Up on the shoulders is Dreamer. Death Valley drop on the closed table. And now Bubba Ray lights the table on fire. Devon sets up another table. Bubba Ray bounces off the one in the corner. Devon with these hard elbows. Raven with Bully Ray. Can we see it? Bully Ray through the table. It's over. And here we go for the FTW title, a classic, an ECW all-time classic here, Bam Bam versus Taz. Bam Bam with these hard strikes, Taz no-selling him. Bam Bam gets punched in the face, still not brought down by Taz. Taz now stomps the gut, driving the wind out of Bam Bam Bigelow. Now Taz, Irish whip, Bam Bam goes to the concrete. Bam Bam kicks Taz away though. Gonna lift Taz up, powerbomb position, powerbomb on the concrete. And now Taz gonna reverse. That leg trapped in Zagiri, picks Bam Bam up and takes him back down. And Taz just washing the face with those wrist wraps. Gonna look for a table now or some kind of weapon. Pulls out a stop sign. Bam Bam not gonna let it happen. Irish whip into the barricade. Taz has to be careful here. Those barricades have no padding on them. Nothing in this arena has any padding on it. Another powerbomb by Bam Bam could have been devastating here for Taz. I don't even know how you take one powerbomb on the concrete. Bam Bam now looking for a table. Pulls out a ladder. Bam Bam now lifts up Taz. Not again. Another powerbomb on the concrete. Taz is caught in a bad position. He reverses though. Hard lariat knocks down Bam. Off the apron goes Taz. Into the cover. Remember, this is FTW rules. Pinfalls are legal anywhere. Now Taz struggling to his feet. Bam's waiting on him. Picks him up. Greetings from Asbury Park on the floor. And that has to do it. Asbury Park on the floor. Taz kicks out at two. Taz has to be careful. He's on the apron. Bam Bam lifts him up. Powerbomb position. He's going to take him through the table to the concrete. And it doesn't look like Bam Bam is done as he sets up another table outside the ring. And now Bam Bam just beating the test of Taz. How does Taz have anything left? He's going to push him through the table at the end here. And Taz falls right onto the table into the concrete again. And that's final. Bam Bam destroys Taz. Irish whip to the corner. RVD reverses. This is going to be a fast pace one. Springboard moonsault, just as I say it. Now Jerry Lynn, Irish whip. RVD reverses again. A kick straight to the face. RVD stuns Jerry Lynn with these rapid kicks. Jerry Lynn now moves in. Punch stuns RVD. Grabs him from behind. Jerry Lynn moving in. Drop kick to the face. Goes for a leg drop. RVD moves out of the way. Jerry Lynn rolls out of the way. 
RVD catches him. Irish whip over the ropes. Run into all those crushed Coke cans and pizza boxes and a guitar to the knee. RVD going to take some time to show off. And now RVD with Jerry Lynn on the barricade. Leg sweep. It looked like the top of Larry Lynn's shoulders hit the barricade. RVD disposits him back in the ring. RVD takes a minute to show off. Jerry Lynn back to his feet. RVD quick enough to make up for it. Vertical suplex face buster. Irish whip, Jerry Lynn over the ropes. RVD quick to follow up. This can only end badly. RVD, DDT on the apron to the concrete. And RVD's not done. He grabs a trash can and just tosses it. Tossing weapons is the best addition to this game by far. It's not even close. And now Jerry Lynn finally trying to get some momentum here. Throws RVD against the turnbuckle. Very hard to keep RVD off his feet. Very cat-like in that way. RVD, though, game fights his way back out. Irish whip reversed. Oh, RVD dodges the stairs. There's that cat-like quickness, but gets still put in the ring. Now Jerry Lynn. Why does everybody love ladders in this game? Like, what? In this, this isn't, none of these are ladder matches. RVD. Irish whip to Jerry Lynn. Goes under. One goes over. Spinning heel kick. Lynn falls on the ladder. RVD into a pin. First fall of this match will not go to RVD. Jerry Lynn saves himself. Now RVD goes and gets another stop sign and just throws it. Oh, he missed. Jerry Lynn knocks it out of his hand. Irish whip. RVD off the turn. Gets caught. Tilt a whirl face buster. Jerry Lynn lifts him back up to his feet. RVD going to fight his way out. RVD now. Irish whip to Jerry Lynn. Catches him with a spinning heel kick into the cover. And Jerry Lynn saves the match and setting it up outside the ring. We saw what happened to Taz in the last match. Can be very devastating. Now RVD waiting for Jerry Lynn to get to his feet. Tosses the stop sign into his face. What's RVD thinking here? He loads Jerry Lynn on the table. RVD all the way to the top of the ladder. What's he looking for? RVD from the top of the ladder. Leg drop through the table. Jerry Lynn is in such pain. He's floating off to heaven right now. Uh... So I think the game is dying. I think Jerry Lynn might might be dead. I think that frog splash, or I think that leg drop actually killed him. And now RVD with Jerry Lynn in the ring. And RVD will take the first pinfall in this two out of three falls match. RVD staying on the attack here would be smart after he just leg dropped him from the top of the ladder. Jerry Lynn, though, how is he still alive? Tossing RVD over the rope. Catches him on the apron. Forearm strike. Jerry Lynn over the top DDT. And Van Dam with a German suplex on the floor. Now Van Dam looking for a weapon. Pulls out a trash can. And the RVD in trouble. Jerry Lynn has him on the top. There is a trash can and a ladder out there he could land on. Jerry Lynn superplex onto the ladder and the trash can. And RVD will kick out. He landed awful on that ladder with his legs hitting the side of that steel trash can. Still kicks out. Knee drop busts him open. Van Dam is in trouble here. Jerry Lynn still looking for the first fall in his side of this match. A bloody Van Dam is going to follow him outside the ring. And Lariat will take him down. Van Dam not intent on getting hit with any more weapons, but suplexes him against the barricade in the floor. Jerry Lynn stuns RVD from behind. Suplex. Jerry Lynn now pulling out a stop sign. RVD on the chase. Gets hit in the head with it. No concussion protocols in 1999. RVD moves in. Monkey flip. Jerry Lynn now grabs a hold of RVD off the steps. Now Jerry Lynn with RVD against the barricade, returning the favor with that side sweep. Jerry Lynn wants to win this match. He's got to come out with a big move like RVD had with that leg drop. Jerry Lynn with RVD in the corner, looking for another big move here. Jerry Lynn going to try to put RVD through the table again. He needs one fall to match RVD. Going to go for this superplex again, and he hits it. Into the cover, Jerry Lynn. And we are tied one to one. Jerry Lynn not going to let RVD get any time. Gets him up. Sit out pile driver. Into the cover goes Jerry Lynn. And RVD will save himself there. After taking two superplexes through tables. Knowing that the weapons have been his best chance. When RVD is not on offense. But RVD is very good at reversing. 
Northern Lights on the floor. And now RVD picking up Jerry Lynn. DDT on the floor. Rolling thunder by RVD. Jerry Lynn struggling to the corner. RVD there to meet him with some kicks. Now what's he looking for? RVD over the top guillotine leg drop. RVD now kicks Jerry Lynn in the gut. Picks him up on top of that ladder. What's he looking for? Powerbomb onto the ladder. Van Dam, top rope. Hurricane Rana from halfway across the ring. Five-star frog splash. Into the cover goes Van Dam to... And this match is over. Van Dam beats Jerry Lynn. Both competitors lock up middle of the ring. Mike Awesome picks up Rhino. Just deadlift Alabama to open the match. Mike Awesome staying on the attack. Grabs Rhino by his head. Rhino not going to get hit by that powerbomb this early. He knows that powerbomb was coming. Those devastating Mike Awesome powerbombs. Belly to belly by Rhino. Now Rhino with Mike Awesome. Suplex position. Face buster. Very impressive to lift up a man of Mike Awesome's freakish size and now rhino pump handle gets him over oklahoma power slam a lot of people might be wondering why i put these two in the main event and not with mike awesome and tanaka it's because these two dudes are so such fucked fuckers i mean look at these guys these guys are absolute monsters now rhino moving in kick to the gut knocks him down with a hard clothesline rhino now going to the top rope you don't see that often rhino Tsunami splash and Rhino signaling for the referee to count. Remember, this is a last man standing match. Mike Awesome rolls out of the way. Irish whip goes under. Rhino kitchen sink. And now Rhino waiting for the chair. Mike Awesome was at a six count and he gets hit with the chair. Rhino gonna wedge it into the turnbuckle now. Not even gonna let the referee count, just breaking the count by lifting Mike Awesome. Rhino looking to do devastation with that chair. Mike Awesome goes head first, and now Rhino will let the referee count. Mike Awesome back to his feet. Rhino slides in the stairs. Mike Awesome exits the ring. Playing possum here with Rhino. Rhino goes out, catches him. Bad plan there by Mike Awesome as Rhino catches him. And now Rhino going to put him back in the ring. Rhino knows where he wants to win this match. Rhino now showing off. Mike Awesome up at five. Rhino helps him to his feet again. And a gore by Rhino. That might be the end for Mike Awesome as he no-sells the gore back to one knee. And Rhino furious but gets reversed. This is the power of the mullet. Rhino reverses, gets him up on his shoulders. Impressive strength, power slam. And Rhino overcomes the power of the mullet. Up to a three count is the referee. Rhino's going to help him. Irish whip catches him throws Mike Awesome into the air now Mike Awesome gets Rhino in the corner and just rapid strikes by the big man and now Mike Awesome lifting Rhino to the top he's got the stairs positioned right under the drop zone Mike Awesome to the top awesome bomb onto the stairs and now Mike Awesome will let the referee start counting on Rhino as he heads out of the ring Rhino up to his feet already after an awesome bomb off the top onto the stairs, Rhino still standing. Grabs Mike Awesome over his head. Snake eyes. Mike Awesome might have just thrown his best shot, and Rhino is still standing. Mike Awesome catches him. Irish whip. Big man goes under, jumps over, showing the athleticism. Spinning power slam. Now Mike Awesome picking up the stairs. Rhino in the corner. What's he thinking? Mike Awesome going to throw the stairs outside the ring. Interesting decision as he goes for maybe another awesome bomb here. And he does it. Awesome bomb to the stairs to the floor. Referee has to start counting. That has to, And that's 10. Mike Awesome wins the East.
And here we go, barbed wire deathmatch. Hammerstein ballroom. Sabu lifts up, or should I say Sandman lifts up Sabu, but he gets chop blocked. Now Sandman with Sabu gonna take him over to the ropes. You can see those barbed wire contraptions at ringside. This match can only be won by knocking your opponent out. They must not be able to get to their feet at all, requiring medical attention. Sandman lifts up Sabu and just starts biting the nose of Sabu. Dirty tactics from Sandman, but there are no rules in this match. Off the ropes goes Sandman. Stops himself, but Sabu's there with a kick. And Sandman with a kick. Stuns Sabu, knocks him to his feet. Now Sandman with Sabu, throws him over the ropes. And a hot shot onto the barbed wire goes Sabu. And Sandman has Sabu stunned against the ropes. Just raking his head against that wire. Sabu up to his feet, but gets caught with a slap. And knocked down by the Sandman. Sandman again with Sabu. Got to lift him up. Vertical suplex. He spins out with a neck breaker though. And now Sandman. Sabu again going to toss him over to the outside. Sabu just narrowly dodges that barbed wire trap. Sandman going to make sure he doesn't though. Sandman now lifts up Sabu. Powerbomb on to the spikes. The back of Sabu's head just hit that spike. And now Sandman putting a table back in the ring. Sabu is somehow alive after getting his head bounced off a spike. Sandman looking for a choke slam. Sabu reverses. Now he has Sandman package pile driver on the concrete. And Sabu going to put him into the ring. Sabu now going to lock in the Campbell clutch. And now Sabu grabs Sandman. Irish whip over the ropes into the barbed wire goes Sandman. And now what's Sabu looking for off the ropes? He goes under the ropes in a body splash. And Sabu now kicks the ankle out of the Sandman and now follows up. Rapid kick to the face over the top guillotine. Now Sabu lifting Sandman up to the top rope. What's he thinking? Gonna meet him up there. Hurricane Rana across the ring. Sandman narrowly avoids hitting the corner of that table. And now Sabu lighting the table on fire. Sabu gonna take Sandman to the top rope again. And he's gonna meet him up there again with a Hurricane Rana through the flaming table head first. Now Sabu grabs Sandman again after the table lifts him up. Pile driver. How much can Sandman take? Look at the blood in the ring. Sabu is sizing up the Sandman. Lifts him up, drops him down. Pile driver. And that will do it for our ECW Universe mode. If you like this video or want to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and check out the channel. If this Universe mode does well, I might consider doing more retro Universe modes in the future.